Donc coucou à la team YouTube, j'espère que vous allez bien, j'espère que vous êtes confortablement installés. Aujourd'hui on se retrouve pour la découverte du jeu Anna's Quest, je suis super méga impatiente. C'est l'histoire d'une petite fille qui est tout le temps restée chez son grand-père, avec son grand-père, elle vit avec lui. Sauf qu'un jour il tombe malade et elle doit partir à l'aventure pour affronter le monde extérieur et essayer de trouver un remède à son grand-père. Sans plus tarder, on va commencer comme ça. À la Quest. Ok, tout va bien. Anna Anna Pépé Pépé ah, There you are. Anna, it's already growing dark. You know how I feel about you being out at night. Grandpa, I'm fine. I was just finishing the chores around the farm. Oh, my dear. You needn't do so much. Come inside. Rest. It's fine, Grandpa. I like helping out around the house. I'm not so little anymore, you know? <sighs> yes. Quite right. Quite right. And I was thinking, well, maybe, maybe next week, instead of you, I can go sell our crops in the village? No! No. That is for me, and me alone. I'm sorry, my dear. It's just... the things that are out there. Promise me, you won't ever venture out into those woods. I... I promise. Good. Good. And when I do go, you must always remember, however near or far we may be, In our hearts, we carry our family. Oh. Jolie direction artistique. This ouais. is a tale that began in a number of places, as many often do. It began once with two sisters in a faraway school where children were cruel and misunderstood all the same. Today, however, it begins in a deep, dark wood where a very special girl indeed was about to begin a long and perilous journey. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Anna who lived with her grandfather in a deep, dark wood. He told her of all the evils that lurked outside the safety of their humble farm and warned her never to venture far. One night, however, the grandfather grew suddenly ill, yet he insisted Anna promise not to enter those woods. Her love for him was so strong that she could not and at once set out on her ill-fated quest for a cure. The brave girl traveled cautiously into those woods, wary of all the stories her grandfather had told her. Careful as she was, however, a wicked old witch, filled with the most evil of intent, followed her from dark and foggy shadow. The old woman snatched the girl away, and in the darkest corner of those cursed woods, she locked her in a great tower. The witch, you see, had plans for the girl, but the girl had an unwavering determination to save her beloved grandpa. On se fait déjà enlever par une sorcière, ça commence bien, dès le début du jeu. Une petite expérience, chapitre 1. Avec une sorcière, euh, une cuillère. Ah, je passe un truc. Ah non. Oh, grandpa, what have I gotten myself into? If, if only I'd have listened to you, then. No, I can't think cafard. like that. Grandpa needs me. I have to find a way to help him. That's it. I don't know how I'll do it, but no matter what, I have to find an escape. Anna. Ah! 
Did you say something before? Who were you talking to? Oh, uh... So, Anna, how are you this evening? J'aimerais qu'il nous apporte de la nourriture pour qu'elle ouvre la porte. Tired? Hungry? That's nice. Now listen carefully. The time has finally come for your experiment. Ah, uh, exercise. Yes, exercise. Exercise? See your nice red chair over there? I need you to go on and sit in it. Um, what exactly is this exercise? Just do as I say. Uh, <laughs> that is to say, come along, dear. Nothing to be afraid of. Be a good girl and sit in the chair now, hmm? <sighs> good. Very good. All right. Stay very still now, Anna. Now hop up, Anna. Quickly now. So tell me, do you feel different? Somehow different in your head, perhaps? Actually, yeah, I kind of do. I feel kind of, kind of, kind of sick and dizzy. Those lights were really intense. Oh. Curse you, child. That should have brought out your powers. Um... <laughs> Do you mean, like, pat my head and rub my tummy? It's pretty tricky, but I wouldn't call it a power. Your telekinesis. Show it to me. Telekinesis? I know you have it. I've seen it. If he has it, then you must have it. I'm sorry, I really don't know what you mean. I don't have any powers. Hmm. This may be harder than I first thought. All right, all right. Go and pick up your spoon. Uh, no, that's okay. I'm not really that hungry. No, not to eat. Pick it up. Hold it out. And then think about nothing except the spoon bending. Well, come on, child. This seems rather silly, but I think the witch's patience is running out. I better just do as she says. Just looking at it reminds me of the gunk the witch fed me. Blech. Cooking is obviously not one of the witch's specialties. Grandpa would never let me have something this sharp. I guess the witch doesn't have much care for children and safety. I have to say, these are pretty fun. The witch did all right with these. I could be wrong, but I have a feeling the witch made that mattress out of wood. Every morning I wake up with splinters. Ooh. What a sad looking thing, all flat and lumpy. I barely get any sleep on it. The witch keeps it locked, always. That's how the old witch talks to me from her house. I think it's also how she hears me, too. Mm. The witch tells me she'll unlock it when I complete her exercises. I don't really care about toys, though. I just want to see Grandpa again. All these stuffed animals are so adorable. I'm sure the old witch hates them for that very reason. I can never tell when the witch is or isn't spying on me. Il y a la lumière so, sur le côté so de la caméra. C'est comme ça qu'on sait avec la lumière. So soft and smooth. I'm not sure what they're made of, <laughs> but they feel so nice. Bah faut qu'on mette ça sur le lit alors. 
that's the witch's house out there on the hill. She must have built this tower just for these exercises. Mm, yeah. A rubber ball. Hours of fun. That thing just keeps going and going. I have no idea what it means, but it's very hypnotic. I'm still not sure what that's for. I wonder. Maybe if I have a closer look. No. No, I shouldn't. That thing seems dangerous. Maybe I should just leave it alone. It is a very comfy chair. I would use it more if it wasn't for the scary looking machine hanging above it. Bah, elle peut bouger le fauteuil. What a huge teddy bear! That thing was there before I even got here. It really, really freaks me out. That's a very, very shiny horn you have there, Mr. Unicorn. And, uh, a little sharp and pointy, too. I suppose I could cut off his horn if I wanted to. Uh -huh. Okay. Concentrate on bending the spoon. All right then, here goes nothing. Mm. I'm I don't believe it. What? What did you say? What happened? I bent the spoon? I bent the spoon? Wow! Come closer, child. I can't hear you. It worked! It actually worked! I bent the spoon! Show it to me. Hold it up to the camera. Hmm? This has a bit of a hook on it when it's bent like that. See? Look! I really did it! Yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Finally, it's mine. All mine. <laughs> uh, oh. Uh oh. Oh, but I still have so many things to do. So many things to prepare. Anna, don't go anywhere. Um. Uh oh. But. There isn't anywhere to go. Yes, good girl, good girl. Oh, <laughs> the day has come at last. I can't help but feel a little uneasy about this. Whatever the witch is planning, it can't be good. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, oh no. Um, hello? Is someone there? Uh, hello? Ah! Ah! <laughs> you can hear me? What is this? You can hear me. Oh boy, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to talk or not. Wow, that sure is a big relief. Is this another one of your tricks, witch? Anna? Oh no, shh, Anna, you gotta be quiet. Anna, who are you talking to? Oh no, oh no. What have I done? This is bad. I... I was talking to... Oh. No one. Just myself. Again. Anna, really? I wish you'd quit doing that already. You're distracting me. Hello? Who... are you? Oh, I'm... I'm... Mm, I'm... Bear? No, wait. That's not right. B ben? Burn? Burshin? Oh, wait! Yes! It's Ben! It's Ben! Wow! I remembered! You... have trouble remembering things? Oh, yeah. Everything from before. I wasn't always like... this. What did you mean, not always like this? Oh, I'm really like you, Anna. You're... a girl? No, yuck! 
I'm not a girl, silly. I'm a boy. Well, I was a boy when that old woman first brought me here. So the witch, she did this to you? Turned you into a teddy bear? Uh-huh. I, I, I think something went wrong. She screamed and said witchcraft was stupid and, and I was so scared. So I just sat here and tried to stay as still and quiet as possible. Gee, Ben, that's awful. I'm sorry. How long have you been here for? Oh, I'm, I'm not really sure, but it sure feels like a long time. A very, very long time. I tell you, I was so happy when you came, Anna. Finally, a friend. Are you... Did you say you're gonna escape? Shh, not so loud. What were you getting so worried about before? Oh, Anna, this is bad. Why? What is she planning? Well, I'm not sure, but it's bad. It's very bad. Just look at what she's done to me. And with that power of yours, she wants to take it from you somehow. I'm sure of it. It's okay, Ben. I'm going to escape. Well, we're going to escape. I'll take you with me. <gasps> I knew it, Anna. I knew it. Oh, but, um, how are we going to escape, Anna? I'm not sure yet. I'm starting to think, though, this power of mine. Oh, yeah, I saw that. That's amazing. You are so clever. Yes, well, I guess I can bend spoons now, but it doesn't seem strong enough to do anything useful. If I could try that machine again, maybe I can make it stronger and... Oh, no, Anna, you can't. It's too dangerous. It's all covered in cables and lights and, and, and machine things. Okay. Okay. Let me think about this. That blue light in the headgear thing, that's what seemed to bring this telekinesis out. So then, perhaps there's a way of removing that from the rest of the machine, or perhaps there's a way of controlling it from in here? Oh, Anna, you really are so smart. Uh, but, um, how are you gonna do that, Anna? I'll figure it out. I'm going to keep looking for a way out. Oh, this is so exciting. On peut même pas prendre le petit chat avec nous. Oh, quel dommage. Not now. Excuse-moi. Nope. That thing stuck fast. Well, no thanks. I don't mean to be ungrateful, but I think I saw it moving earlier. That... I'm sorry, Mr. Unicorn. Close your eyes now. Uh... Oh, see, that wasn't so bad. Oh, Mr. Unicorn, I'm honestly really, really sorry, but I just have to do this one last thing. Oh, dear. I hope this stuffing was worth it. Poor, poor Mr. Unicorn. Ah, ouais, non, là, je crois qu'il faut l'achever, hein. Aha! This might be pointy enough to get under the cover and pry it off. Let's see. Ah, Mr. Unicorn's horn. It got all bent and broken. Guess I don't really need it anymore. Okay, let's see here. Buttons, buttons, buttons. None of them seem to have any indication about what they are or what they do. Hmm, uh, fingers crossed, I guess. Anna? Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. But look, Ben. That bit there. That's the glowing bit. 
those blue light bits seem to be glowing more now that it's disconnected, too. So, maybe if I try it now... Ah, Anna, that sounds good. About it glowing and everything. But I'm not so sure you should pick that up. It does seem rather... sparky, doesn't it? Hmm... Maybe there's something I can use to pick it up safely, though. He is very cute, but I think I'll leave him where he is. Yeah, that could work. Now I have a perfect half circle of rubber... thing. Ah, yes! This rubber should make it safe to pick up. I... hope? I have to say, even after doing all that, even if I can pick it up, should I really be putting something like this on my head? Grandpa... I know he'd tell me not to ever do something as crazy as this. If it means getting back to him, though, I have to try. Here goes nothing, I suppose. Oh, my head. I feel like my brain just turned upside down. Anna? Are you all right? Did it work? Anna? What was that light just then? Uh, you see... What are you doing in there, child? I was just... Playing. What do I say? Anna, don't you turn your back on me. I don't know what you're up to in there. But remember this, I'm watching you. I can assure you, little girl, whatever you are up to, you will regret it. Oh, les menaces. Oh la la, les menaces. I'll just take a crayon, I think. Hmm. And some paint, too. I like paint. I could cut off some of the curtain, but I'm right under the camera, and the old witch would surely come up here in a rage. She's on to us, Ben. If she sees us leaving, I don't think we'll get far before she stops us. But she can see everything, Anna. She's watching us, always watching. Hmm. Okay, Ben, I'll work on distracting her. But be ready. We'll need to move quickly when I do, okay? Okay, Anna. That's it! If I can tamper with the speaker, maybe gently move the camera, then she might not be able to see or hear me escape. Alright. Here goes nothing. Mm. Uh-oh. That was a little more than I intended. Oh no, oh no, oh no! She's gonna be so mad at us, Anna. This time, Ben, you're very right about that. I think I see her now. <laughs> She's coming, Anna! She's coming! It's too late to worry about her now. We have to get out of here, quick! Oh yes, Anna! Your power! Hurry! No time for that! We've got to get out of here! He vient avec nous, ben. You did it, Anna! Quick, let's go! Olivia, il va pas venir. Mais il... All right, it's time to go, Ben. Um, do you need some help getting up? Oh no, 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 I can do this. Allez, vas-y, lève-toi, Benoît. Um, oh dear. That's it, Ben. You've got it. Oh boy, I did it! I really did! Okay, 
Okay, quick, we need to see if you can walk so we can get going. Oh yes, let me see. Well, there you go. You really did do it. All right, Grandpa, I'm coming. On arrive. Hmm? As de l'évasion. Oh, il y a une clé. Oh, va nous falloir la clé. No time for that. We've got to get out of here. Heureusement qu'il nous accompagne. Mais... No time for that. We've got to get out of here. Il y a écrit quoi, Grul? Sur les... No time for that. We've got to get out of here. Ok, on y va, ok. <laughs> it's just a painting. What are you doing, Ben? I'm hiding. It's too scary down here. Ah! What now? <gasps> I can't look. I can't. Disons que tu te caches pas très bien, Ben. My nose. Oh dear. Curse you, Anna. Chapitre 2, La Grande Évasion. Qu'avez-vous pensé du jeu N'hésitez pas à me l'écrire dans les commentaires. J'ai beaucoup aimé, ça fait un mélange entre un dessin animé. On a vraiment l'impression de retomber en enfance et de regarder un dessin animé. Et en même temps, un mélange avec un conte. On a vraiment l'impression de lire un livre, de suivre un conte. C'était très intéressant. J'ai beaucoup aimé les puzzles. Il faut quand même pas mal réfléchir. C'est pas si facile que ça. Même si c'est vrai qu'on nous oriente quand même beaucoup si on écoute ce que les personnages disent. Ils nous donnent vraiment beaucoup d'indices. Donc c'est un jeu avec des puzzles qui qui nous donne à réfléchir certes mais c'est pas non plus prise de tête et sinon aussi les musiques sont magnifiques je ne sais pas ce que vous en avez pensé je me suis bien amusée donc j'espère que vous aussi je vous remercie d'avoir été là je vous remercie d'avoir regardé la vidéo j'espère que vous avez passé un bon moment avec moi n'oubliez pas de mettre un petit pouce bleu à la vidéo pourquoi pas aussi à la partager autour de vous ça m'aide beaucoup si vous le faites donc merci infiniment prenez soin de vous c'est le plus important et je vous dis à bientôt bisous bisous